Hallelujah. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you uh, to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. Yeah. Welcome uh, family, uh, NBC family, visitors, and all of you joining us by audio or video. Amen. Yes. All we ask you to do is to enjoy and to participate and Amen. receive. Amen. Whatever yes. God has for you. Okay. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Yes. He has an awesome message for you. Yes, he does. But I want you to do is know this. Don't leave the same way. Leave change. Leave a new person. Amen. Yes. God is not finished with you. Amen. Amen. Right. Make yourself available. I say, yes. man, this is for me. I'm making myself available. Mm -hmm. So I the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. He's greater as he that's in you than he that's in yes. the world. Yes. Amen. And uh just say this to yourself on a daily basis. I'm a winner. I'm a yes. champion. I'm a child of God. I'm an overcomer. Amen. When you start confessing what the Word of God says, you know you're going to step out in faith. Yes. You know, we got to get all them fears out of us. We're, I think we've been talking about this is we're being bombarded by negative things. We're being bombarded by uh, fearful things. But you know what? we got to cleanse ourselves, renew our minds. And this yes. is what the Word of God says. And I'm not going to fear anymore. I'm going to step out in faith on a daily basis everywhere I go. Amen. So yes. be a winner. Be a champion for God. Amen. Our message today is going to be about this. Grow, glow, and go for God. Oh, Make yourself available. Make yourself useful. Make yourself fruitful for Him. Amen. Because He wants to use you. Why? He never uses me. Well, it's time to change that. How is this? Making yourself available. Amen. We've been talking about that. So we're going to continue talking about it. Amen. Grab your Bibles and let's uh, yeah. make this declaration together. Yes. And say it like you want, church. Amen. Yeah. This is this my is Bible. Bible. I, I have what it says I have. have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, yeah. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Yeah. Never be the same in Jesus' name. Change is good. Amen. Change is good. Let's remember that. I want to change for the yes. better. I want to change for the best. Yeah. Amen. So, let me see. We talked last week about uh, not giving up and not being fearful. Don't be fearful, but draw close to God. Instead of running from Him, we got to run to Him. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and be there. Praise God. So grow, glow, and go for God. Man, you go, you, you want to run for <laughs> Being available, being useful, being fruitful for Him. Amen. You know, you. let go of all the negative things you've yes, for. Yes, let go yes. of all the, 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 the mindsets that you, negative yes. mindsets you got. Let go of right. all traditions, yeah. amen, that, 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 that are holding you back. All let right go of now. all distractions that yes. are holding you, amen. amen. Let it all go. Praise God. Yes, Just amen. be available. Because God can use you. Remember we talked about the little boy. I mean yeah. a big crowd. Yeah. And they found a little boy. Mm. And it, his name got he got written in the Bible. Yes. God used that lunch, that little boy, and the, the lunch that he had. Yes. What is it that you've got? He wants to uh -huh. use what you've got. You know why? Yeah. Because he put it there for you. Yes. yes. Yeah. And you he wants to he wants yes. you to use it. He said, well, this is all I can do. He said, well, that's all I need. Yeah. Amen. Well, well, this is all I got. Well, that's good enough for God. Yes. He'll, he'll do the rest. Yes. You just release what yes. it is that you yes. have. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So growing. Second Timothy, we all know this. Here we go. Grow, grow, and go for God. Keep going, mm -hmm. God. Let your light shine. Oh, boy. Let your light so shine, so shine. before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which Amen. is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And um, in 2 Timothy 2, 2, 15. Go to the next one. Here we go. It says to study, uh -huh. to show yourself approved unto God, a workman need not be ashamed. That's right. Since rightly divided in the word of truth. Yeah, yeah. So we're to grow. We're, we're to grow in the word. Never see yourself as I already know it all. Oh, or never see yourself, well, pastor will do it. Or so and so will do it. We're always putting it somebody else. 
Yeah. Amen. But you study to show yourself a girl. Amen. Amen. I don't care if it's just one verse that you're learning. Right. Still open the Bible. Amen. Amen. The answer is the word, the truth is in the Bible. Yes, it is. When you get that truth, it's going to set you free. Uh -huh. Amen. From whatever the negatives are, whatever the distractions right. are, whatever the mindsets are. Traditions, you know, we're, we're so held by, back mm -hmm. by uh, traditions. But yeah. well, this is the way it's always been. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to change. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, you don't want to change. God's not going to force you. That's right. But why don't you change according to what the Word of God says? Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. Read the Word and then change according mm -hmm. to what the Word of God says. Yeah. I've had so many people, including family, <laughs> I'm really probably listening. <laughs> <laughs> They said, well, you know, this is the way I am. I and know. no nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna change me. That's it. Well, nobody's gonna change you. Not even God can change you because mm -hmm. that's your choice. Yes. And that's your will. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna come against that. Mm -hmm. But if you study, the Bible says in Ephesians uh, chapter 5, 1 and 2, mm -hmm. in the Amplified it says to be imitators of yes. God. Amen. If we're gonna imitate our God, uh -huh. we're gonna flow. All and right. be like him. We're going to flow in his love and in compassion. Yes. And we're going to stop doing some of the things we're doing. That's good. Right. That's Amen. Good. That's so right. be, if you uh, uh, call yourself a believer, a oh. Christian, then start imitating your God. Amen. Amen. And let all the traditions, let all the hatred and all the other things you've been saying mm. go. <laughs> and quit talking the way you've been talking. Yeah. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Yes. Amen. Because remember, death and life are in the power of the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the power of your words. Amen. Come on now. Amen. So, study, grow, to show yourself approved unto God. A workman Amen. need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes, yes. And of course, we already seen the uh, Matthew 5, 16, which mm -hmm. is, let your light so shine. Glow. <laughs> you know, get so full of the word that you glow. <laughs> I saw you coming. <laughs> you glow in the dark. Amen. <laughs> yeah, we'll let it go. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Let me see. Let me let me see. Find something. Oh gosh. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Another another uh, verse. In uh, the book of John, in the book of John, you can read it like this. Book of John, chapter 8 and verse 12. Mm. Jesus, the light of the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. That's how mine starts. But verse 12 says, Then Jesus spoke unto, unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, That's good. but shall have the light of mm -hmm. life. Amen. Yes. So listen, hey, if you see me glowing in the dark, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> Amen. The word is in me. The light of God is in me. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. You know, the Bible says uh, Jesus did it, and so can we. Yes. Amen. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let my little light shine. But that was a beautiful yeah. song we used to sing as children. <laughs> <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. Yes. Are you going to let your light shine? Or are you just going to keep it under a basket? Mm. Amen. Don't. Let it shine. Amen. Let people know. You know what? I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. Praise yeah. God. Well, come on now. I'm All preaching right. better than amen to me now. Keep <laughs> going. Thank you, Lord. So, here's another one. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, King James here. Mark 16, I'm going to read you 15 through 18. But this one here is uh, 15, uh, uh, Mark 16 and 15 says, Go into all the world, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of creatures out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of creatures out there. We're to go into the world and preach the yeah, gospel. Yeah. Amen. Let me read it to you from the King James. Says, and he said to them, says, Go. Yes. So what's holding you back? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not good enough. Mm. What's your excuse? Let yeah. it go. He says go. If he yeah. says go, that means he's going to take care of rest. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Of course, you got you got to prepare yourselves. Yes. We, we're talking about uh, growing in the word, mm -hmm. studying, and glowing, mm -hmm. and 
to go. Amen. So he's telling yeah. us, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. He who believes is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will not will be condemned. Yeah. Verse 17. And these signs shall follow those who believe. Are you a believer? Yeah. And these signs shall follow. Yeah. Why? Because the word of God says so. Yes, it does. So you should have no doubts. Mm. Amen. You say, well, I don't believe that. Well, <laughs> you keep talking that and being negative and you're not going to see it. Amen. You'll see it. But it says in verse 17. And these signs will follow those who believe. Mm -hmm. It says, in my name... They will cast out demons. Yes. Oh my God. Remember, mm -hmm. we fight a spiritual battle on yes. a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in the word and the word's not coming out of you, you're no match to the devil. Yes, it is. It's a spiritual battle. Yes, it is. Amen. So you gotta get the word in you and you gotta confess the word, release it, speak yes. speak it, whatever you want to say, confess yes. it. Amen. It says in my name, okay. they you can scratch they and put your name there. Yes. Amen. Personalize it. They will uh, cast out dem uh, demons. They will speak in new tongues. Mm -hmm. They will take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any daily thing, it will by no means hurt them. That's it. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Yes. Yes. These signs shall follow those yeah. that believe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Praise God. I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm believing this for myself. You know, yeah. Because the word of God says it. So I'm believing this. Hmm. So you can be happy no matter what or where you are. <laughs> Some of us are still upset where we are. Hmm. Be happy wherever God sends you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the Bible he used was yes. had sinned. But God yes. used them anyway. Yes. And he sent them where he wanted them. Yes. So we need to be obedient to where God wants us. Mm -hmm. And wherever you go, seek him first. Yes. And you won't be upset about where you That's are. It. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Say, Lord, I'm here. Use me. I'm available yes. to you. Amen. Amen. No matter what may be the happenings around you, no matter what the circumstances, the situations, the problems, mm -hmm. or the cares, it's always going to be there. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. Bible says, cast it on Him. Yes. Amen. Cast it on Him. I have a choice. What is your choice? If you're going to take on the world, if you're going to take on the cares, you can have it. Mm -hmm. And you got God on one hand and the world on the other hand. Yeah. Which one are you choosing? Yeah. It's your choice. Yes, it is. Amen. Psalms 130, well, 133, verse 3. Keep going. Oh, this another another one. Going to all the world yeah. and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But Amen. he who does not believe will be condemned. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's Mark 16, uh, 15 and 16 in the New yes. King James. Next one. Yeah. There we go. It says and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yes. Talking about the word. Amen. Ooh, man. Yes. You got that Bible with you? Yeah. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither. That's right. And whatever whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You know what? You keep confessing the word of God, yeah. and you're gonna prosper. Yeah. You know, I keep telling you this, you're too blessed to be stressed. Yes, it is. Amen. And we should Thank you, Lord. <laughs> count your blessings about yes. us. Yes. Not your worries. Yes. Not your stresses. All right, not your cares. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. It, but, but still, you have a choice. Yes, you do. Well, it didn't work for so and so. <laughs> what about you? You know, let so and so oh, has the, their thing uh -huh. to do, has their life to do. Mm. You have your life. Yes. Confess the word. Amen. Yes. Amen. And you know what? You'll be the uh, uh, awesome testimony. You'll be a living testimony for God. Yes. You'll be his ambassador going somewhere to share the word of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So I've got uh, Psalms uh, 1 and 3 in the New King James here. It says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in, yeah. in, in its season. Yes. Whose leaves also shall not wither, mm -hmm. but whatever he does shall prosper. Yeah, prosper. So you know what? You can you keep confessing those things. Yes. And you're gonna prosper. Yeah. No, we've always been poor, you know. Oh, no, I've always been God. sick. No, I've always catch those things, you know. Mm. Well, you keep confessing negative things, mm -hmm. and you can you can have what you say. Yes, yeah. yeah. But you need to stop that. Wait a minute. Right. I'm not gonna say those things anymore. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. Grow up. We're maturing in the word of God. I said, I'm, I'm not going to go there no more. Come on. Amen. Psalm 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh-huh. So so what? <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> the good thing is, he hadn't called me home yet. Uh -huh. And he's given me a new day yes. to serve him. Yeah. He's yeah. given me a new day to be available to right. him. Amen. And I'm going to take the opportunity. I'm going to yeah. take everything possible and Amen. be available for him to use me. Amen. Amen. Lord, here I am. Use me. Mm -hmm. Why not? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's not against you. He's for you. Mm -hmm. The enemy is against you. Yeah. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And destroy Jesus it. says, I come that you might have life, life and have it more abundantly. Right. But you know, we also have to get the word in us and we have to confess the word of God. It's just not going to jump on you. That's Amen. It. Confess the word. It's mine. He says, there's the promised land. He says, mm -hmm. go, take it. It was there. It was promised. But yeah. they didn't go. They had to go. And guess what? When they got to the promised land, mm -hmm. they found, they got giants in the promised land. <laughs> Amen. He's giving you a new day. And guess what? There's giants out there waiting for you. <laughs> but guess what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greater is he that sent me than he that is in the world. Amen. I've already spent my time with him, and greater is he that sent me. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to take and possess whatever it is yes. that God wants me to do. And, yes. and I can do all things through Christ. All yeah, things. but you don't know there's the giants out there. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Jesus says, What I've done, you can do. Yes. Yeah. He says, And guess what? He says, Know this, I have overcome. Yes, he is. So you can do also. So yes. I'm an overcomer. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, he has given you a new day. Be available. Yeah. Be ready. Be ready. No complaints. No excuses. I mean, we, we come up with more excuses than anybody else. <laughs> and I know he's heard them all. <laughs> yes. Amen. And we won't keep you long, you know. Uh, uh, just just uh, loosen up, you know. Yeah. We see. <laughs> so this morning we're going to be talking about the church, you know. Oh. Right now the church the the body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says, well, let's go there. Let's go to Hebrews ten. Go to Hebrews ten. I want you to see it in the Bible for yourself. Hebrews yeah. ten, verse twenty-four and twenty-five. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh Lord. I want you to see it for yourself and you know there's so much fear in the body of Christ now oh nobody's everybody's uh, uh, afraid to assemble themselves together yeah I saw I saw some um, visit my brother yesterday and I saw some games on TV uh -huh. I even saw the Cowboys on All Thursday right. and guess what man them stadiums are full full and we okay. come to church and nobody mm -hmm. wants to come to church All right. come on now why, why is this? Shouldn't be that way. <laughs> no, it shouldn't Amen. be the other way around. Shouldn't be the other way around. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So Amen. anyway, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 24 and 25. Are you there? Yes. Which okay. one? Um, let me read it to you from the new, ver uh, new live version. It says this. Let us help each other to love others and to do good. Yeah. Let us not stay away from church meetings. Did you hear that, child of God? <laughs> Let us not stay away from church meetings. Some people are doing this all the time. No. Come on. Is it ringing the bell? <laughs> Some of us are staying home all the time. All right. Amen. But guess what? When it's work time, when it's, when it's time to go earn a living, oh boy. and when it's time to go to work, we don't yeah. fail. No, we don't. And we're there all the time. All and we do time. extra work and overtime and <laughs> anything else. Uh, we can't do a little extra time for God. Woo, come on. All right. You still, you still love me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are doing this all the time. Comfort each other as you see the day of his return coming. Yeah. The Amplified says, as you see the day of Christ's return approaching. Yes. And guess what? He's coming back. Why? Yeah. Because he said so. It is yeah. in his word. Yeah. He's coming back. Amen. It says the church, a place where Jesus Christ yeah. rules as king, 
And we have an obligation to be completely submitted and committed. Yeah. Amen. So what do I do? Submit myself. Commit myself. Here I am, Lord, use me. I'm committing myself. Amen. Yeah. If you never met Christ, Jesus Christ, you Lord and Savior, now is the time. Uh -huh. Amen. The church is one body. Yeah. Many parts emphasizing both unity and diversity. Uh -huh. Each one of us performing different roles with Jesus Christ as our head. Yeah. So every one of us gifted different to do whatever he's called us to do. Right. So if I'm not doing what so-and-so is doing, it doesn't mean that I'm failing. Because he's called us to do something else. The right. most little toe can do what the thumb is doing. Right. Amen. One's on the bottom, one's on the top. <laughs> so different parts of your body have different functions. But still, they work together in unity. And that's what the body of Christ should be doing. Yeah. Working together in unity. Yeah. Not pulling apart, but coming together. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. So we're to grow, glow, and go for God. Being fruitful, sowing, planting, sharing His Word. Well, I can never share the Word of God. Yeah. Well, you know what it tells me? It tells me you have an excuse. <laughs> it tells me that you have some kind of fear in you. Yeah. And you're afraid. I can't do that. Wait a minute. That's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God yeah. says that you can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens you. And He says yeah. that you can do and you can go and you can do it. So if you say that I can't do it, that means you're yeah. doubting yourself. And the word of God is, is false. Mm -hmm. Come on now. No. Sharing the word, sharing the love and compassion of Jesus Christ. Right. Being imitators of Christ. Amen. Be imitators. <laughs> we can do this. I've changed. You didn't want to know me before. <laughs> <laughs> But we all have awesome testimonies where yeah. God has brought us from yeah. and where we are now. And we, we can share our testimony with somebody that can be delivered from whatever, they, right. whatever they're going through. And we've sure. all gone through different things. Yeah. Amen. Yours, bigger or smaller than mine. But it doesn't matter. We've all gone through, the, through that. Right. Being imitators of Christ. A child of God. Being imitator of Him. Believers. Happiest should be happiest people on earth. You're too blessed to be stressed, worried, concerned. Cast it on Him. Give it all to Him. And this is, you are blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Some of us don't know how to be a blessing. But He's talking to you and He wants you to bless somebody. Say, oh no man, I know that ain't God. He's telling you, yeah. Yeah. many times, bless that person. Give them a kind word. Amen. Do whatever you know. Amen. Be nice. Yeah. And oh no, not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm with my buddies, you know, and I don't want my buddies to, to hear me say that. Mm -hmm. I don't want my buddies to see me doing the work of God. Oh, oh, no, God. They don't know. Well, <laughs> God knows. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this to you from the easy to read version. So just kind of follow along. It's in the first Peter chapter two, verse one through 10. Talking about live as God's chosen people. You're God's chosen people. The word of God says so. So I'm going to read it to you. So just open your ears or open your heart. Verse one. This is from easy to read version. Amen. First Peter chapter two, verse one through 10. So then stop doing anything to hurt others. Don't lie anymore and stop trying to fool people. Don't yeah. be jealous or sad, say bad things about others. Verse two, newborn babes hunger for milk. You should want the pure teachings of the word that feeds your spirit. With it, you can grow up and be saved, amen? You're going to grow. You're going to mature in the things of God. And you're going to stop doing the things you were doing before. Amen. But you know what? I know you've heard this before. As you grow, you know when you climb a ladder, it's a new level, new devils. All right. So you got to. So true. So you, so you have to learn more. Mm -hmm. So you have to study more to show yes. yourself approved and say, okay, 
So I'm gonna study to show myself approved, and I'm gonna right. grow and keep growing mm -hmm. and keep growing and going for God. Amen. Amen. So verse three, you have already tasted the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. Four, the Lord Jesus is a living stone. Yes, the he people is. of the world decided they did not want this stone, mm -hmm. but He is the one stone chosen as one of great value. Yes. So come to Him. Five. Yeah. You also are a living stone, or like a living stone. And God is using you to build a spiritual house. All right. You are to serve God in this house as a holy priest, offering Him spiritual sacrifices mm -hmm. that He will accept because of Jesus Christ. Verse 6. Mm. The scripture says, look, I have chosen a cornerstone mm. of great value, and I have put the stone in Zion. Anyone who trusts in Him will never be disappointed. Seven, so that the stone bring honor for you who believe. Amen. But for those who don't believe, he is the stone that the builders refused to accept, right. which became the most important stone. Yes. Verse eight, for them he also a stone that maketh people stumble, mm -hmm. a rock that maketh people fall. Mm -hmm. wow. People stumble because they don't obey what God says. This right. is what God planned to happen to those people. Mm. In verse 9, listen. But you, you and you can put your name there. Mm. You are a chosen generation. Yes. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A special chosen people who belong to God. Amen. He chose you to tell about the wonderful things He has done. He brought you out of darkness of sin into the wonderful light. And in the past, you were not, excuse me, in the past, you were not a special people. Mm -hmm. But now you are God's people. Now, if you're a child of God, don't exclude yourself. Don't say, I'm not, because the word of God says, I am a child of God. Yeah. But now you are God's people. Mm -hmm. Once you had not received mercy, but now God has given you his mercy. Yes. Amen. So, listen. You are his chosen generation. Yes. A royal Lord. priesthood, a Lord. holy Lord. nation. Amen. You're on God's team. You're on God's winning team. So let's remember these things. When you start confessing the word of God yeah. and doing the word of God, it's totally different uh -huh. than the world. Yeah. When you start thinking the way he wants you to think yeah. and doing and saying the things he wants you to say. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna wake up yeah. and say, Wow. You know, it's time to start a new day, start yes. new beginnings. Yes. Amen. It's time to do an about face and yes. start with Him and go with Him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Growing is a process of ongoing things. As Christians, we must continue to grow in Him. Continue to grow. We're talking about maturity. We need yeah. to grow. We, we mature as we grow in the Word. Amen. Because we have so much of the world in us. All right. The Word is going to cleanse us. Yes. And and not do those things right. or, or, or not repeat those things. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. And we're gonna mature and say, Man, I don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't have to do that no more. Never getting to the point that we think we know it all. Well, yeah. you know, I know some of that. So you know I, I go to church once a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you come into this building doesn't make you a Christian. Lord. Amen. Come on. Amen. Now. That is not what Christianity is about. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, you got to confess Him as Lord and Savior. Submit yes. and commit to Him. Amen. And make a change in your life. Mm -hmm. Coming to this building don't mean nothing. That's it. Amen. It does if you assemble ourselves together to encourage one another. Yes. Amen. And, and, and to praise and worship Him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you. <clears throat> so growing. Here we go. Got definition for you. No. Growing is to mature, to develop, to spring up, to increase in size or amount, and to become greater or larger, to expand. Mm. Amen. Uh, never mind. Hold on here. <laughs> <laughs> but still, we 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 need to grow spiritually yeah. in yes. the things of God. We can't be spiritual babies all our lives. That's it. Amen. But like I said, new devils, new levels, new devils. 
And as a baby and child of God, you cannot defeat the next level. Mm. Amen. So you got to grow in the things of God. Yeah. And if, you, if you're not growing, it's not His fault. That's right. It's Come on now. our fault. Mm. We're still using excuses, making excuses, yeah. and we need to stop that. Yes. Again, First Peter 2 and 2 says, like newborn babes, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Be like Jesus, growing and going for him. Amen. Going into, into the word. You are the only Bible. Listen. You can write this down. You are the only Bible some people will never read. You know what's here? You are the only Bible some people will ever read. Because when you leave these four walls, when you go out there, door, you go to your place, your house, you go to your workplace. And you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear. Some people will never step in church, in this church building. But they'll see you and they'll hear you. So you bring the word to them. You're a minister of reconciliation. Yes. You're an ambassador. You're God's mouth mouthpiece wherever you happen to go. And if God says share, then share. Because why? Because you make yourself available. Lord, here I am, use me. He says, share with them. Then share. Because you are his word going somewhere to happen for somebody. You're his word. Have his word going somewhere to happen for for him. Amen. You are the only Bible some people will ever read. Be his ministers of reconciliation, be his ambassadors, and be his mouthpiece on earth. Amen. Jesus, the only yes. way to the Father. How are they going to know? Jesus, the only way to the Father. Some are trying to work their way through, some are trying to pay their way through. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> but there's no other way. No other way. Just being good is not good enough. Amen. It's a spiritual thing. And you have to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. It's a free gift. Salvation. He sacrificed. God sacrificed his son. For us to have salvation. And salvation is free. But you have to receive it. Lord, I receive my salvation. Amen. Praise God. Jesus is the only way to the Father. John 14, 6 says that. He's, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. So if you're seeking another way, there's no other way. You got to go through him, and you have to receive him. Seek him first, Matthew 6, 33. Get your priorities in order. Seek him first. Amen. Stay connected, always. <laughs> Stay connected, you know. Yeah. Every one of us loves our cell phones, you know. But if, if that cell phone is not connected to some power, <laughs> the battery is going to run out. Yeah. Yeah. So keep your spiritual batteries charged up all the time. Amen. Stay connected to Him. Yeah. He's our source. He's our power. Yes. Amen. You don't do Amen. this, and, and you're gonna you're gonna crash. <laughs> and it's not His fault. It's our fault. Yeah. You know, hey, I don't feel like going today. <laughs> hey, I don't feel like reading today. Hey, I don't feel like praying today. Oh well, guess what? You step out into the world, and they're going to have you quick. Yeah. If, if you haven't experienced that, you will. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> imitate him. Be his imitator. Yes. And pray daily. Yeah. Grow up in him. Have a relationship. Ephesians 4 and 14 says... Then we will go no longer be. In, uh, then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teachings. That's it. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Mm. Hey, you know, are you going to this meeting? Are you, why don't you come see us? Because we got a new thing. Oh, it's, a, it's a new thing. Nothing new under the sun. It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Lord gives us his word mm -hmm. and it covers everything. Amen. Somebody tells you to come learn something new. Oh boy. Forget it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You go where they teach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. A Bible based church Praise where they're teaching the word of God, that's where you want to go. Right. Yes. If it's not from the word of God, 
Pretty good. Yeah, <clears throat> That's it. Ephesians 5, uh, 4 15. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, mm -hmm. who is the head of his body, mm -hmm. the church. Us. You know? Yes. Next time you say, I'm going to church, remind, remind yourself. <laughs> I am the church. Uh -huh. You are the temple yeah. of the Holy Spirit. And God, Lord. this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, so, Lord. this is just the building we come together. Mm -hmm. And we assemble ourselves together. Yes. But the church is the body of Christ. Amen. Us. We are part of the body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Come on now. It took me a long time to <laughs> learn that. And you just learned it in a few seconds. <laughs> 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 Never right. stop growing. Sometimes we go through valleys and dry places. Anybody been there? Oh, yeah. Uh, Psalms 23 and 4 says, Yea, Lord, walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Thou art with me. Thy yes. body and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes. He Thank is with me. I know. Yes. <laughs> always, 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 mm -hmm. He is with me. So, praise Amen. God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Whew, we can't finish all this. We're going to stop. Amen. Anyway, Thank you, Lord. and uh, last scripture in Isaiah uh, 30 and 41, we say that we, we, we read this all the time, but you've heard this and we sing this too. It says, but those that wait on the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. Amen. <laughs> you need new strength, you wait yes. on the Lord. You can spend yeah. time with him. He says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes. They shall run and not be weary. be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes. Amen. We just need to make time for him. Amen. You know, some yes. of us have just gotten away. Mm -hmm. Some of us have never accepted. You know, if you've never accepted, all you have to do is, it's your day. It's your time. Yes. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. He don't reject you. Mm -hmm. He'll accept you. Amen. It's time that you do it and about face. It's time that you know that it all it takes is one step yes. in the right direction Amen. to be with him. Amen. Amen. Yes. So let's 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 remember this. Praise God. And if you need a touch of healing, just remember. To Rusty say this, confess this. Rusty huh? needs to be prayed for. Mm -hmm. he, he wrote on there that he, he woke up feeling real bad. So. Rusty? Yeah. Father, we just pray for Rusty and all yes. those that are hurting right now, Father yes. God. We Lord. just lift them up to you, Father. Thank you. Your Lord. Bible says, Praise your word you. says that by your stripes, mm -hmm. Rusty is healed. And yes. all those that are hurting right now, Father yes. God, we just pray healing over their bodies, Father. Yes. Lord. In the name of Jesus. According to your word, Father God, let it be under Rusty and all yes. those that are hurting right now, Father. That by Jesus Christ, he is totally healed, healed right now, Father. Now. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 We love you, brother. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Time to give. Are you done? If you're now? watching and listening, do whatever. You give your time, your offerings, you still can. So all you have to do is go to our website. New Beginnings, NBC, uh, Big ben .com, and to hit that donate button. Thank you. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Yes. And we want to let you know God loves you and we love you. Amen. Amen. God bless you.